You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, episode 76. You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, where we believe business can be simple and you can use your intuition to run towards your goal. Self-made business and success coach, Lindsay Maloney, helps you start and scale your dream coaching business. With her step-by-step intuitive and creative guidance, you'll leave ready to put her tips into action, push your business forward, and work with your dream clients. Lindsay is here to help you get unstuck and structure your brilliance into a coaching business that's sustainable and financially exhilarating. Here's your host, Lindsay Maloney. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. I am really excited to talk about an issue that's very near and dear to my heart because I've been really diving deep into the inner work in the past year and a half. And I really want to talk about this with you guys because I feel like no one is really touching on this subject because it is a sensitive subject and I just feel called to speak about it. And if you feel connected with it, let me know. Um, But I think it's important for you to listen to it with an open mind and an open heart. So of course, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I think the most important aspect of our business is really tapping into what makes us, what makes our wheels turn and what makes our heart just shine. And sometimes we get to a point where like we feel like we're hitting a wall and we feel like okay I've done everything I've invested I've done all the programs I've wrote the copy I have an amazing website like I have everything what the heck is going on why isn't anything working I see all of these other people that started when I started or after or before, whatever, and they're, they have these amazing businesses, but I'm just stuck. And a lot of entrepreneurs will use the phrase, I, I just hit a wall or I, hit a, I have a block. And I think it's okay. It's okay to recognize that you have a block and that you hit a wall. But then, then what do we do? We start reading all the spiritual books and we listen to all of the the people online who are um, inspiring us and we're quoting them and we're reposting things. We're doing all of that stuff and we feel like if we just keep doing all of that, then it'll work. And then maybe we start meditating and we start journaling and doing all these things that we see everyone else doing. But it's something still off, Right. And our business is still stagnant or it's not, it's not even slow growth. It's just dead in the water, right? We're just, we're just doing things to stay afloat. We're just treading water. And it's starting to feel like this is getting exhausting. You're not feeling inspired anymore. You're wondering what is going on. And feeling this way is totally normal and totally fine. And it doesn't mean that you started your business and you were wrong to start it. It doesn't mean that you should quit and try something else. And it doesn't mean that you're not cut out for this because you are cut out for this because you decided that for some reason you wanted to start a business online and not everybody is wired to even think that. And not everyone is wired to do all the things that we do every single day to make this happen. And not everyone is wired to feel called to help others. So just wipe all of that, those negative thoughts away that you're not cut out for this because you are. If you, if you dreamed that this was a possibility for you, it's because it is. So what do you do when you're doing all the things? Everything. Your shelves are lined with all the books and you're just like, feel like you missed an important ingredient in your recipe. And that is when we have to go back into how we were raised. And it doesn't mean that you, if you had a really crappy childhood that your business is going to suck. That's not what I, that's not what I mean. But what I do mean is that how we were raised will absolutely affect our life and our business. And this is not an episode where we're going to bash our parents and think of all the things that they didn't do for us or whatever that cuz that's not true because our parents always did the did the best for us always 
and they're human. And it's so interesting when you start to stop, when you stop blaming and you accept, things start to shift. But how do you get to that point? How do you get to the point where you can see why things are the way they are? Why does it feel like your business isn't making any money? Let's use that example. Your business isn't making any money. You feel like all of the money is going out. Nothing's coming in. You've done the, you know, if you invest in yourself, everything will come back to you. You've done all that. You believe it. But okay, when is that other part going to come for you? So what I want you to do is think of how you how you were raised when you were little. And you can get out a notebook and a pen and start to think of some things. And I'm going to give you some examples. And we're just going to use money for the sake of this episode because, I mean, we could go on for days. We're going to use money. So your business isn't making any money. Now I want you to just go back into maybe when you were 5 or 10 or however old you were, whatever comes to you. And think about the conversations that were happening around your home about money. Maybe your parent or parents were always discussing bills and feeling stressed out. Maybe your parents were working all of the time and you never saw them. Maybe your parents had a really bad attitude towards people who were wealthy. Or maybe they didn't really have any, you know, anything to say either or. They just had the attitude, well, you work and then you die. (laughs) I remember hearing that too. And that's okay. Like, we don't have to be like, oh my gosh, my parents didn't know anything. That's not what we're doing. We're just like flipping way back into the photo album and kind of remembering, oh, okay, this is starting to make sense. So let's, let's, let's um, talk about some examples. So some examples that I've heard from, from clients or um, just people around me in my surroundings, rich people are born rich. They're trust fund babies or they were, they're famous. And the only way to be rich is to be famous or know somebody famous. You have to win money to have money. Um, Rich people are miserable. They're not happy. You have to work hard. You have to work hard every single day to get, to just make it. I want you to really think about all the things that you heard growing up when it came to money and just start writing them down. Things are, it's going to start pouring out of you once you get a couple Was it hard for your family to spend money? Was it hard for your family to make ends meet? And I know that so many of, so many of us grew up that way and that's totally great. But what isn't great is for you to have that idea towards your business. That scarcity mindset, that idea that, you know, this could just end any, any moment. And I am scared of what could happen to my business if I, if I spend any money because I could lose everything, you know, that's just fear and fear is just going to really, really hold us back. So when we think of all of the phrases that we heard when we were little about money, not enough, it's hard to get, it's not possible. Those ideas were imprinted in the back of your subconscious and your subconscious is like, it has a steering wheel. That's how you're operating your business and you don't even know it. It's like you are driving in a, you're driving in a limousine and that window, you're sitting in the back of the limousine and the window's up and you have no idea who's driving it. And you're just like, this is not how, where I wanted to go. This is taking forever. And you finally rolled on the window and you're like, oh, that's why, because I have all these negative ideas taking me nowhere. And then you ha- you have to you have to accept that that was in the back of your mind. You have to thank it and then send it off on their own way. And then you take control of the vehicle so you can go where you want to go. Now there's another, there's another side to this. It's not about the lack of money, but a lot of entrepreneurs are afraid to have money because they're scared that they'll lose it. That's another huge one. So they might be totally okay with having the money and it coming in and all of that. Like they have these big money goals, but they're 
in, in the back of their mind, they're afraid that once they get it, they're going to do something stupid with it. They're going to spend it all. They're going to lose it on something. They're going to make a bad investment because either something happened in their past where, you know, this might have been an experience or several experiences or their family experienced something like this. And as a child, they saw the stress that it would, that brought upon, you know, their surroundings. So that could also be in the back of your mind. If you have money, you're going to be irresponsible with it. So it's really important to write all of these things down and realize that everything you're writing down is okay. There's no blame here. It's just getting out, getting it out of your head and onto paper because that's the first step. And then just seeing like, wow, this really is how my business is, is turning out. This is the answer because I have all of this crap in my mind. That's the first step, getting it out on paper. And then I want you to just take that paper and crumple it up, throw it away because it doesn't apply to you. And I want you to say that out loud too. This doesn't apply to me. None of this applies to me. It will never apply to me. Because my business is successful, my business is abundant, and my business is open to wealth and success. That's the mindset I want you to have. So you know that there are things in the back of your mind, whether you really know about them or not, once you start, it's going to start coming out. And I really want you to do this exercise and listen to this episode a couple of times because I think it's going to be really therapeutic for you to get this all onto paper. And then repeating those positive affirmations as you crumble them up and throw them away. So what if you're like, well, I don't know what, I have no idea, I can't remember anything. I don't remember my family talking about this or like, I don't really know if that applies to me, Lindsay. But I know that I have some kind of block. Well, that would be a great time to reach out to someone to help you tap into that. And I have a really amazing tool that can tap into it really, really quickly. It's called Rapid Transformational Therapy. I became a practitioner this fall and I use it to help my clients tap into their past so they can remove the unwanted thoughts scenes, feelings that are not serving them anymore, and then we replace them with something positive and extremely effective for their life. So if you want to learn how to do more of this with yourself and reach out to a professional, absolutely find me online. You can go to lindsaymaloney.com slash RTT. I would love to work with you and help you do this. This is my passion. I want to help entrepreneurs just be as big as they can be and successful as they can be, but they also need to do the inner work. And this is a really powerful tool to do that. So if you feel called to get some help with this, go to lindsaymaloney.com slash RTT, or just DM me on Instagram. Ask me any questions that you may have. I'd be happy. So very grateful to help you. I have lots of clients who have already worked with, and we have so many amazing testimonials on our page. And I want to read a couple testimonials from some clients. Lindsay has a way of making you feel so calm and relaxed. During our RTT session, we discovered how some past events were affecting me and my business 30 plus years later. We were able to rewrite the events and move forward at this phase in my life to have all that I desire. I started seeing benefits of our session literally the next day. Every day since our session, I've been receiving abundance or opportunities to grow my business to a level that I never imagined possible. I'm so grateful to have worked with Lindsay. I truly believe all my goals and dreams manifest into reality now. And then I'll read you one more from another amazing client. 
My RTT session with Lindsay was extraordinary. She was able to get me under such deep hypnosis that I was able to access core memories that were blocking me from manifesting my $10 million business. And after the session, I felt so relieved, so open, and so aligned, and knowing that I could achieve anything. And I've been listening to her guided self-hypnosis every single day, and it's just been magical. So you heard the word hypnosis in the testimonials and you're like, what is this? (laughs) It is hypnosis and it's hypnosis has gotten such a bad rap. I feel because I remember when I first heard about it, I was like, wow, that's so, that's so crazy. And it's not like you're sleeping and you have no idea what's happening and I'm going to make you do silly things. That's not what it's like at all. Hypnosis is something that you are completely in control of. You are just in a deep meditative state. So if you've ever meditated before and you know that you can get into that deep meditative state, that really relaxed state, that's what hypnosis is. You're not going to get stuck, right? It feels different for everyone. Some people kind of feel like they're floating or they just feel really, really relaxed. Um, But when they are done with their session, they feel like a weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. There's no wrong way to do it. Every single session is effective. And the best part about it is you don't need to go to therapy for months and months and years and years. I've had clients who said they've saved months of therapy just by going to one session. Their relationships with their spouse are so much better because of their session. And that's incredible. And I absolutely love the fact that we do this all online, all on Zoom. So you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to like get a sitter for your kids or, you know, take time off of work. I have really flexible times where I do my RTT sessions and it allows entrepreneurs to really just take time for themselves and get the healing that they deserve because we all deserve healing. Even if we feel like everything is going fine, it's really important just to check in and see what your subconscious wants to either talk about or get rid of. So, so important. And I remember when I first went into my first rapid transformational therapy session, I went into it for money blocks because I couldn't think of anything to go in. And I wanted my business to go to a whole new level. And I wanted to make sure that there was nothing standing in my way. And it was so interesting, the things that came up for me. And it was so healing for me to do this, this type of work. And that's when I knew that the direction that I was going to become a practitioner was just spot on. This is exactly what I am here to do. So not only am I a business and success coach, I also am a rapid transformational therapy practitioner and I help women create and scale and do the inner work at the same time. So we work on the intuition and we work on strategy because like I said in the beginning, it takes both. We have to have that balance. So this is not some like magical thing. It's total science. It's you are just creating a burst of brain waves that are the same as when you're in REM. And that's what allows you to access your subconscious mind. It's so easy. Anyone can do it. And I would love to help you do it too. So if you're interested in it and you're still listening, reach out. We can definitely talk. We can have a, a conversation and talk about what happens um, and there's a lots of information on my website. Again, just go to lindsaymaloney.com slash RTT and you will find everything that you're looking for there. And I just want to leave you with one last thought. And that is the fastest way to change a thought is to reverse it. And that's exactly what this does. So if you have thoughts in your mind that are not serving you, that are not serving your business because of what has been coded in your mind, either from childhood or just, you know, being in this world, we have to reverse it. And the only way to do that is through hypnosis. It's just science. So if you want to do that, you want to reverse negative thoughts, feelings, health, you want better health, you want to feel better, you want to be a better entrepreneur, you just want to be a better mom or just a better human, you could work on, you need to work on something, just book a session. 
and you can experience all the freedom from pain, negative thoughts, bad habits, because you deserve to feel joyful and loved, in control, free, because you are more than enough. And I can absolutely help you get there. Want 10 ways for you to start booking your dream clients? I created this workbook for you because I wanted to share my best tips on how I book mine. You're not going to believe how easy these are and I know you'll be able to take my tips and put them into action ASAP so you can start working with your dream clients. To grab the workbook for free, all you have to do is go to lindsaymaloney.com podcast. Hey coaches, are you a member of the Book Your Dream Clients community yet? Because you should be. Just go to dreamclientcommunity.com to request free access. We do fun things like website audits, challenges, and we even have a book club. Join the free Dream Client community now and we'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast. If you want to find out more information, how you can work with me, just head on over to my website, lindsaymaloney.com. You will be able to see how you can work with me privately or in a group setting. I'm all about helping you start and scale your coaching business. So I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes and leave a rating and review. And if you want bonus points, take a screenshot of a review and tag me on your Instagram story. I'd love to see it and share it with my audience. And plus, you don't want to miss another episode.